This video provides an overview of programming the instrument's generate and receive functions. To get the most out of this video, we recommend viewing these videos beforehand. For demonstration purposes, a coaxial cable is connected between the gen and antenna connectors. This creates a loopback which allows the instrument to analyze its own signal. The generator's tile and analyzer's tile are used to program the generate and receive functions of the instrument. These tiles are used to set up the RF generate and receive functions as well as baseband functions. This video will describe the RF generate and receive functions. The RF generator controls are associated with the generator's tile. The RF Gen soft key toggles the generator on and off. The RF out soft key routes the RF generator either through the TR connector or the Gen connector. The generator frequency and level are set in the top portion of the generator's tile. The level can be set in dBm, volts, or dB microvolts. The modulation button selects the type of modulation generated by the instrument. The generator can be set to produce AM, FM, upper sideband, or lower sideband. FM preemphasis is also selected here. IQ Gen is an optional feature that generates IQ modulation from stored IQ definition files. The generator's tile contains three independent modulation generators. A modulation generator is enabled by selecting its Enable button. Each modulation generator has a frequency field in which the audio frequency or encode data is entered. A modulator's level field will be in hertz or percent of modulation depending on the type of modulation selected. When sideband modulation is selected, the level field must be set to 100% in order to generate the signal at the set RF level. The Wave Shape button selects the waveform or type of encoding to be generated by the modulator. When external modulation is enabled, a signal applied to an audio input will modulate the generator. The external modulation setting is valid when the applied signal is at a 1V RMS level. The expanded generator's tile provides access to the increment and frequency lock functions. The lock function locks the generate frequency to the receive frequency. The offset value is summed with the receive frequency to create an offset generate frequency. The increment values are used in conjunction with the increment decrement soft keys. The analyzer's tile contains the RF receiver and DMOD functions of the instrument. The RFN soft key selects the TR or the antenna connector as the receiver input. The receive frequency can be either found using the autotune function or manually entered. The selectivity of the receiver is set by the IF bandwidth filter selection. Frequency accuracy is measured with either the offset meter or the counter. The DMOD button selects the demodulation format. The DMOD can be set to AM, FM, upper sideband, or lower sideband. FM deemphasis is also selected here.
Pressing the PTT button will key a device connected to the mic accessory connector. The DMOD field displays either the DMOD audio frequency or decoded DCS. The 1 kHz FM tone is demodulated and displayed. The DCS-023 code is decoded and displayed. The demodulated audio filter is set with the demod filter button. The 300 Hz low pass filter is blocking the 1 kHz demodulated tone. The 300 Hz low pass filter is passing the 67 Hz demodulated tone. The expanded analyzer's tile provides access to the level control. When set to manual, the receiver gain can be set to an expected value. The 15 dB preamp is enabled here. The frequency increment field sets the value for the increment decrement soft keys. The offset meter resolution can be set to 10 Hz to increase measurement speed. The offset meter units can be expressed in hertz or parts per million. 